India is chasing an ambitious dream to become a global solar manufacturing hub. From modules to cells, companies are scaling up like never before. But can India reduce its dependence on China, which still dominates the solar supply chain? Varsha Chandani, our sector expert, gets us the performance data. Let's see how stock market has actually rewarded the solar module companies. Talking about Vori Energies, in the last six months, the stock price is up 44%. Websol Energy has given almost 30% returns, while Premier Energies, if you see, the stock is up 14% in the last six months. You know, talking about the order book, the uh, all these companies have a strong order book. Vori Energies, the order book as of June 2025, stands at around 49,000 crore. Premier Energies order book is at almost 8,600. Crore, while Satwik Green Energy, you know, which is the upcoming IPO, uh, uh, the order book is at almost 5,000 crore. Why this aggression? Because India still imports nearly 80% of its solar equipment, with over 60% from China. By 2030, India wants 160 gigawatts of modules and 120 gigawatts of cells. Policies like the PLI scheme, GST cuts and ALMM are pushing domestic production. Rupesh Sankhe, Senior Vice President Research at Ilara Capital says, India's solar capacity will increase from 105 gigawatts in FY25 to approximately 290 by 2030 that will augur well for domestic solar modules and cells in the next two to three years and progress is visible. By March 2025, module capacity doubled to 74 gigawatts and cell capacity tripled to 25 gigawatts. But challenges remain. Heavy import dependence continues for wafers and polysilicon. Huge new capacities may face underutilization, margin pressure and weaker realizations. Beyond 2930, maintaining today's margins may not even be possible. The bottom line, India's solar value chain is reshaping fast, creating big opportunities. But the real test is, can India build a self-reliant ecosystem or will China continue to dominate?